Despite Grace University's announcement to close, the development project here on the former Dana University campus is still on. The president tells me the closure presents new opportunities for the future community here, but city officials and people in Blair don't necessarily agree. As Grace University closes its doors, more open for Ed Shatta. Like said, it's opened the door to more and better alternatives. Shatta is the president of the Frank and Jane Krejci yeah, Learning and Life community really on Dana's old campus, aiming to provide affordable housing for people in need. The end game was always to take care of the vulnerable. We're still taking care of the end game. Now we're just reducing our overhead and putting the space to better use. Grace University planned to take up about 50% of the empty campus. Shada says that means more space for new businesses and community needs and makes the project nearly $50 million cheaper. Now that Grace University is out, new undisclosed interest is already coming in. I can tell you that they're very substantial. You know, I won't have the issues that I had with um, Grace when it comes to their wherewithal. But for the city of Blair, Grace's announcement brings disappointment. I think everybody was looking forward to getting that vibrant, uh, young, uh, energetic, uh, bright students back up on the hill again. Local businesses like Main Street Barbecue and Grill agree, still missing the labor and customers Dana College brought in. It was you know, a lot busier and we were looking forward to that coming back. But Right now, it don't look very good. Despite the setback, Blair still backs the development to come. Anything that we can do to refurbish the, repurpose the college will be a tremendous benefit for the city of Blair. Shadda says he's in the process of finalizing grants for housing here and hopes construction will be on its way by next year. Reporting in Blair, Taylor Barth, KETV News Watch 7. Okay.